वेलकम वेलकम प्रवीण वेलकम प्रमोद मॉर्निंग मॉर्निंग फ्रॉम इंडिया गुड मॉर्निंग स्टेल गुड मॉर्निंग होप यू आर इज डूइंग वेल स्टेल आर वी वेटिंग फॉर अदर पीपल आल्सो टू जॉइन आई थिंक देयर आर ओनली 20 पीपल यस यस या आई एम सीइंग पीपल कमिंग लाइव गोइंग लाइव सो या लेट्स लेट्स गिव सम टाइम लेट्स गिव सम टाइम शो we we'll we'll have to give some time uh, uh it's yet one minute for the scheduled yeah. time so yeah, yeah let's give some time so praveen i believe uh, you're not uh, joining us from india so yeah i have uh, like i'm part of google singapore uh, senior account manager over here so yeah joining from singapore over here okay okay uh, pramod where are you joining us from today I am actually based out of Bombay in uh, Google, but uh, I am currently in Indore, so I came in uh, for Diwali. So I'm at my hometown right now. Okay, okay. Well, guys, I also am working from home because of this COVID-19 uh, uh, pandemic, and uh, uh, I believe most of uh, the joinees attendees today would also be, you know, in in the comfort and security of their home. <clears throat> yeah. But it's a great opportunity. Yeah, I think it's mostly like festive season in India. Most of the people will be closer to their family at the moment. Correct. Yeah, festive. Yeah, festive days. Okay. Uh, I think we have uh, enough number of people uh, joined us. All right. Uh, let's start. Let's not keep them waiting. Uh, rest yeah. will join. Not a problem. So, guys, welcome again. Uh, welcome to this uh, webinar. Uh, the global travel program that we have arranged and we have uh, two experts with us today uh, from google uh, i have praveen uh, praveen kumar and uh, pramod uh, uh, pramod ganshani uh, from google uh, i call them expert because i before this webinar when i interacted with them i had i uh, know i had to i had so much insights about google and what google is doing i learned so much so in you no know, in my uh, uh, this thing opinion i call them expert and we will see today during the course of this webinar that they are going to share so much information with us which we might not have uh, no even uh, uh, thought of so thank you praveen thank you pramod for taking out time and sharing you know uh, uh, arranging this uh, uh, you know uh, sharing this details with us so <clears throat> uh, praveen i would come to you first uh, i understand that you are a senior uh, account manager in, at yep. google right Yeah. and uh, so how much time have you been with google proving so it's been almost like 5 years i have spent about uh, all the 5 years in travel industry and uh-huh. has seen a lot of travel companies growing in this region i we basically work for the apac so i have seen most of the company using all the um, online platforms and uh, helping them to grow basically in in the in the apac so like everybody i have the same question how is it like working at google <laughs> So it's a, it's amazing. Like um, Google is one of the best company to work with. They take like great great care of not only the client, not only basic, not only the clients, but also the employees at the same time. And I think we all are all at the moment are uh, going to the same situation where where Google is doing its best uh, mm-hmm. as part of this session. This session is also one of the example we are trying to help and do our bit in terms of helping the travel industry. Great, great. Thank you very much. So don't mind me asking this question, but where are you originally from, India? So well, where's the hometown? So I'm from a, a, a small state. It's called Bihar. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> you call that a small state? <laughs> but uh, but luckily, I have been um, uh, like got the flavor to live and work in different part of the countries and uh, uh, and many other countries as well. Currently, I am in Singapore and I am representing Singapore at the moment. Great, great. Thank you very much, Praveen, for uh, joining again. Uh, so yeah, Pramod, uh, coming back to you. Uh, sure. I understand that uh, I know that you are from Indore, right? And yeah. you are a senior analytical lead in Google. Uh, yeah. Last I spoke, I remember that you are, you no, know, you you are around three, three, four years uh, working you, at Google, right? Yeah. Okay. So tell tell us something about yourself, Pramod. 
Yeah, so it's been three and a half uh, years since I joined Google. And before joining Google, I was working with a bunch of startups in the fintech space uh, and in the travel space. So for the last three and a half years, I've been managing a lot of Indian travel clients uh, across sectors. So be it the cabs industry or the luxury hotel space. And recently, I've gone into uh, managing activity space, which is very nascent in India, uh, right? Things to do and uh, selling tickets online. So uh, helping these clients in India to grow digitally, bringing them online and helping them business online has been uh, the sum of what I've done in the last three and a half years with Google. Wonderful. Great. That sounds great. Interesting. Some things that I don't know yet, and maybe in future, I'll keep in touch with you <laughs> to learn something from you apart from what you have to share today. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. So, yeah, Praveen, uh, I would like you to you know um, help us understand more about this global travel program and what uh, you know, our attendees today can learn out of this uh, webinar today. If you could please uh, you know, share some insight. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, Sam. So thank you viewers for joining in and hoteliers for joining in. This is uh, Google's global travel program. Uh, this is our bit basically to for all the hoteliers to help them understand what digital space mean, why it is very necessary for you guys to increase your digital real estate and uh, be present whenever a uh, user is looking for, whenever the user is looking for any kind of answer, whether they want to go anywhere or they want to plan their next trip, what you can do uh, to provide the best possible answer or result or messaging to them. So overall, this session is divided into three parts. The first part is about uh, trends that we are seeing in the in, in basically from the last few months, where we are seeing some uptick in terms of uh, uh, travel industry recovering again. The second part will be about mostly about how you can uh, use Google My Business to increase your uh, online presence. And third part would be about uh, using paid and uh, uh, unpaid method to increase your uh, messaging part for the for the user perspective. So we are trying to conduct this session globally to all the countries, and uh, this particular session is for India. Thank you, thank you, Praveen. <clears throat> so yeah, so without any further ado, let 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 me start the presentation. Um, so we will try to wrap up this session in less than two hours uh, from now. If I yeah, so this I think everybody knows about this particular slide. What happens back in? Uh, back in uh, by the end of uh, March, we started seeing a lot of decline in terms of uh, travel queries. But travel query, I mean that whenever somebody goes on Google.com and type anything, uh, all those terms are considered as the query. And let's suppose if you go on Google.com and uh, write hotel in Goa or how can I uh, like different activities in Pondicherry, something like that. So all those terms will be classified as travel queries. So back in March, by the end of March, we started seeing a huge decline in terms of all the queries that were coming specifically for the travel uh, travel, de travel industry. So you, uh, uh, I, I'm sorry, Praveen, but I, yeah, I'm seeing no. a huge decline after a, a spike. So that spike is where, where, what month is the spike there? Is it December? So no, this was again, uh, I think the first week <clears throat> of March. Uh, what would have happened at the same time people would have started uh, since this news was spreading across the world that covid mm -hmm. is hitting people might be started planning their trip to go back to their home or if they were at their home they wanted to go back to their workplace so okay. that was the reason for this spike uh, suddenly everybody wanted to make their trip as soon as possible they wanted to complete their trip and you might also remember there was a huge lockdown at different places so mm -hmm. people were just trying to like protect themselves from the right. lockdown yeah. and yeah so that was the spike and and suddenly we started seeing a huge decline as well post that. Um, but the great great part is that uh, there is some spark that, the, that we have seen in the recent month. If we go like further a deep, if you want, if you want to like dig deep what is happening, and if you see the uh, right most part of the graph, there is okay. some incline, so there's some inclination. Then we are seeing that people are st again started looking for it. So if I go to the next slide, uh, this is about overall trends that we are seeing for different <coughs> year. Uh, um, so the blue one is about 2017, uh, red one is about 2018. We are seeing that there is an inclination, there, there is some, some upliftment in terms of travel queries that was happening every year. And Definitely. if you see 2020, there was again there was again a huge increment by if from the from the January side. And as soon as we like proceeded to towards 2020, we see a decline. But if if we see like current trend, uh, we are already at at, at least 1.5x of overall travel queries, which was there back in April. That means 
with respect to april people have started again like there is more demand from the travel or for different services that exist in travel that's so see. positive that's so positive news uh, pravin that no things are getting back normal i mean <clears throat> thank you very much for this insight i mean i i trust google with this kind of data so thank you very much yes yeah, so some of these data are also available externally you can see google trend and you can just try to understand like what is what is happening and i think many many clients many advertisers also uh, depend a lot on google trends just to understand what is happening with different industry mm -hmm. so for luckily we also have like some trend with us and uh, if we try to dig deep like which all sector is doing well or at least for the top four industry which 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 constitute the major chunk of travel industry in india uh this is it uh this slide is about air bus rail and hotel uh we can see the bus industry has already recovered recovered by 47% since since april the next one is uh airphone uh airline again has recovered by 55% um followed closely by the railway industry although the railway has not completely started every part of the country but people are looking for options to travel via rail i think that as soon as government will start with all the uh, all the consideration in place production in place people will um, will move back to railway but the biggest growth we have seen has come from hotel industry it has already recovered by 59% in terms of the queries that people are looking for at the google.com um so yeah if we go further little to understand what people are looking for what people where people want to go during their next travel so it seems like people are looking and want to go just back to their normal life because uh it it this all six top like top six destination that is happening in india is and um, like and this is <clears throat> and this is fresh data you mean this people have started searching for goa rishikesh mahableshwar yeah that's what yeah this is very very fresh okay. data and I mean, yeah that's so people, yeah that's a relief that's a relief for for me for for all the attendees here thank you thank you again pravin so yeah so this means that uh, people are looking for all kind of uh, a destination places for example it could be a beach destination like goa or puri or religious place like uh, vashno devi or rishikesh so people want to uh, like go back like back to normal what was happening before but we just still have to like wait a little little, little bit mm -hmm. uh, so in order to understand that uh, what actually indian travelers are looking for uh, if we go deep um uh, we try to conduct a survey we send out a survey to pan india and uh, we got response from across all part of the country and uh, these are some of the responses that we have got 24% of the people who want to travel actually wants to travel go to or rent out a rental apartment or go to a budget hotel 21% of the people go for one wants to go and live in a luxury hotel which with some kind of uh, service or experiences so what does this mean this means that people have it still they have like a lot of trust on hotel uh only things that we have to ramp up in terms of providing all the services that is required to protect us from covid uh if i go to next slide uh over here i can see this is again the survey that has people filled up um we can see that the 35% of the travelers who want to travel they want some kind of insurance or some kind of assurance from the hotel industry in the in terms of cleanliness or hygiene that they will protect them uh, they'll protect their travelers or users from covid 15% of people are still looking for some kind of discount to make their decision and 13% of people are like overall um flexible in terms of booking their uh, next next travel plan about 7% of the people are willing to take uh, next familiarity or basically next uh, uh, trip based on the reputation and um, brand name of the hotel industry so, so that also I, plays an important role i believe yeah so uh, i think yeah definitely uh, in terms of increase by we can definitely increase our familiarity by using different kind of online channels or online mechanism that is available to us so rest of all the session would be about how can we make sure that we are there whenever a user is uh, looking for us or how can we increase our basically website or real estate on on internet and to take it through i'll I just want to invite pramod um who will just introduce himself and uh, uh, we'll take it through the gmb slides to you pramod thank you thank you very much pravin thank you thank you praveen for this uh, and thank you for setting the context on the travel insights i think it's very important to accept the change that's happening and also to understand what kind of change is currently happening in the travel market so before i jump on to uh, what is jmb how to bring your business online i know uh, th there are certain chats that i see right now uh, i'll what i'll 
also suggest is if you have any questions during uh, my presentation or any ways feel feel free to use the chat feature we we'll try to answer as many questions as we can from the chat after the presentation is over correct sneha yeah sure yeah sure yeah. Uh, so pramod please don't mind me asking this stupid question but you just used uh, something like gmb what what's, what does it mean uh, yeah i'll uh, not use a lot of jargons because in google we <laughs> <laughs> we uh, use a lot of jargons but gmb uh, is what we call a google my business listing right okay. uh, if i go to the next slide i think you will all see this and i'm sure you would have when you search in google search be it on a mobile or a desktop you would have seen mm -hmm. this kind of uh, a real estate popping up right uh, okay this so, real estate yeah, promote promote yeah. i mean i i for, i think i think i should i should ask the the attendees right now that do they ever uh, or are, are they doing this right if you give me a moment i'll quickly run a poll and try and understand if they have ever uh, done a google listing correct if correct. you don't mind no no it's great to have that kind of sense before yeah okay okay uh, so guys uh, let me quickly run a poll and you can start your answers right uh, there you go i'll give you guys a minute's time right uh let us see okay so uh, just to just to give you some insight early insights i am seeing on the on the poll that uh, nobody has yet opted for no yeah but gradually it's increasing i am i'm seeing 5% okay okay that that's interesting i think i think uh, these guys would be much more interested uh, promote to see how you no know, google listing can help their business grow especially in these times yeah yeah because nobody is going outside everybody is in the comfort and security of their home so how do they manage to reach out to their customers right absolutely and that's yeah. that's the in intention I, and if you end the poll i think uh, i can see 88% saying yes and mm -hmm. around 12% saying no so uh, relatively i think google has done a better job at marketing their own products if 86 people say yes right so i should convey my regards to the marketing team uh, but for the people who do not know what is a uh, google my business listing yet uh, mm -hmm. i'll take you take you through the process of how do you create a google my business listing and why it's very important to have this kind of listing if you need to have an online presence on google right uh, so i'll just jump on to the next slide and uh, set my agenda right now for uh, google my business uh, what i've done is i've divided the agenda of covering how to bring your business online into three parts one is uh, respond as i call it which is how can a uh, google my business actually help a business owner and i understand most of you are hotel business owners here so how do we bring your hotel business online so that's the first part of it the sec second is uh, what are the different features that we have on the listing that can actually help to enhance your business so once you once your listing is online how can we help you to bring more customers through that listing and the last one is uh, with the rebound and uh, now life post lockdown happening how do we adapt with different guidelines that we have inbuilt for google my business uh, so let me start with respond first which is so i think uh, uh, i think pramod it's a wonderful mix of if i am not listed what i understand from this uh, agenda of yours is if i'm not listed i am still able to get help from this uh, attending this uh, webinar and even if i have listed myself then how do i rebound back how do i you know uh, come back with some new uh, interesting things that i can do on google my listing and then get back online and get attention of my business that that's uh, something that you are trying to address today correct correct and, and even going one step further saying uh, with covid coming in and with lockdown restrictions now easing up what are some of the new features in the google my business that a hotelier can actually use to enhance his business online okay okay wonderful so first step is to bring your business online right uh, and uh, i know it seems uh, very easy to say this but uh, with google my business uh, what we have done is we have actually enhanced this process and build it more seamless for any hotelier or for that matter any business listing to come online and it's a very easy process uh, that one is creating a profile with google my business i think each and every one of us uses a google account 
and uh, you need just one google account you do not need different google accounts to uh, log into different properties that we have so mm -hmm. if you use the same gmail account you can use the same gmail account with google my business as well uh, right uh, i think that is i think if you ask me that's promote the easiest thing google has done it's a, it has made life simpler was not one account and so many services Absolutely. i think that's a trend setter correct right and uh, with what we call this as a single sign on process uh, once you have an account you just sign in uh, once you sign in right uh, you will see this, see this uh, feature called create your business profile right mm. and there are two ways of creating a business profile now one is of course you can use the desktop or the mobile web but what we have also done is for savvy people to download the app right and uh, you can do all of this that i'll cover in the subsequent slides on the go with the app right and this app is free available on the ios as well as the android play store so okay. uh, what you will see are a set of questions uh, regarding your business so uh, these are like really mandatory important questions to bring your business online first is uh, of course what is your business name where it is located uh, what are your service hours what's the address right uh, these are organically listed out you can list your business here put that information and then what is created is a simple listing yeah sorry so what i was going through promote i'm sorry to interrupt but these are very basic information that any any person any business any person who is running a business should be able to answer this that you know what are working hours if i'm able to if i'm catering my services outside my premises or not this this looks very very basic i i think it should not be a problem for most of them yeah yeah absolutely this is like really basic stuff for any business mm -hmm. even if it's it's a it's a storefront business or it's a physical location or a mom and pop store if you mm -hmm. want to come in this is your digital storefront right and uh, what are some of the basic information that people come and look at a digital storefront is where are you located what's your business name what are serving hours do you have a phone number etc etc right so this creates your plain vanilla listing right mm. the next step is how do you enhance this plain vanilla listing into something which can actually bring people online to your business but before okay. that a very important process after creating a plain vanilla listing is to verify that business right and at Correct. google we take verification very seriously because uh, that enhances the authenticity that this is your business right and we want to highlight correct contextual information when people are searching on google search or people are searching on google maps right and it's not necessary that people have to search with your business name only right even if they search for uh, so that's my that's points. my next question promote that how would people know about my business name so let's say i'm i'm running a, a small business uh, in just in a context of a hotel or a restaurant and how would people come to know about me so is there any way uh, people can search a broad category and then you know they they should be able to reach to me absolutely yeah, that's a good question i think uh, it's very important to highlight that uh, not only creating this listing helps you but uh, the discoverability of the listing also depends upon two things one is how contextual and relevant you have uh, filled the information in and is your business verified or not now there are okay. two ways of discovering one is the organic way wherein uh, you go on a google search uh, either on a desktop or a mobile and search for the business name directly if you know it right and this would organically pop up as a result the second is uh, yeah so the second second is uh, even if it doesn't pop up organically right in the subsequent slides we'll cover how do you use the advertisement bit of it the google ads bit of it to uh, highlight this as your business when people are searching not only for your name but people are searching for let's say hotels in uh, santa cruz or hotels in andheri for example i am bombay based that's why i uh, tend to take a lot of bombay examples so but, i was i was uh, going to ask you the same question that i i kind of related that no uh, in, in i th i think before diwali i tried to search something and i was so random in my search so i think this is what is bringing the results when i type in you no know, restaurants near me or uh, takeaways near me so such listings are then curated and shown to me correct absolutely and, and it becomes even more important during this time right because people are searching for uh, hygienic places people are searching for places that are open near them and uh, in the subsequent slides we'll also cover how do you enhance this listing which we just we created and verified in so, order to be contextual so promote uh, i was i was 
thanks for sharing everything but there's one still one question about verification how would google verify this i mean is it online okay. Yeah, so there are multiple ways of doing it. Uh, before COVID, we used to have a physical verification wherein uh, you complete this process and then we send you a postcard by mail which has a one time password OTP, right? Okay. And that's purposely done because uh, authenticity is something which is the utmost important to Google, right? And we had to do this process of uh, physical verification through mail. But okay. with COVID, what we have done is uh, we've introduced various methods now, right? Uh, so. for a listing you can actually list and verify by a phone or mm -hmm. an email or uh, there are instant verifications also available via the chat mode uh, that we offer right uh, in fact if you are have 10 plus locations or if there is some owner who has 10 plus uh, hotel locations is there it? are bulk verification methods as well right so you don't have okay. to go verifying one each hotel individually but but uh, that too, there, but that too happens online that too happens online absolutely so that 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 happens online now and okay. this is in the in the wake of uh, covid-19 that we have introduced some uh, measures to mm -hmm. online verify now right uh, otherwise uh, there is always the traditional method of verifying through postcard which has a one time password okay okay that sounds i think i think uh, having a physical verification receiving a postcard uh, in india especially i when i when i hear a postcard i i fear that my maybe it's not reaching me on time and maybe things will get delayed but now that you know uh, because of covid 19 now that google has started this online verification it, it's it sounds much more easier thank you it's thank you for that it's absolutely easy now right and uh, as i said uh, there is difference between uh, what you can do for uh, a single uh, location and what you can do for chains right so we've hmm. brought in verification also for chains right uh, and uh, okay. people who will understand the uh, apis the technical uh -huh. part of it we are working on free apis as well wherein uh, small and medium businesses uh, can verify through google my business api as well right so i think this is going to help me a lot because i speak to a lot of chain hotels group of hotels you know i i myself deal with enterprise sales at easy and okay. uh, we reach out to customers uh, you know group who are handling group hotels or chain hotels and uh, so this is going to be very very important information that i can share that now they also have a very easy way of verifying themselves i'm sure most of them would have done but then still uh, you know there's always room so yeah thank Absolutely. you thank you for this but the fun starts after verification right so the the actual use of the product is after mm -hmm. verification and that's what uh, i'm going to cover in the next slides and uh, there are some covid 19 specific actions that we have introduced very new to the gmb listing right uh, so let me take you through the fun part of uh, what you can do once you have a vanilla plain listing online mm -hmm. verified uh, right uh, please excuse me i think there's a power cut here so if you able to not see me it's if you able to hear me that should be fine that I, i'm totally yes. able to hear you not a problem promo yeah it's perfectly fine from my end as well yeah <laughs> cool uh, so uh, as i said having business hours is one thing but uh, google my business actually gives you uh, options to have updation of your business hours so you would have seen uh, multiple listings when you search on google search which have uh, is it open on a sunday what time is it open till right mm -hmm. people usually search for these right if it's a restaurant people usually search uh, if the restaurant is open it's open till when if it's a hotel uh, is it open today or not uh, so all of this information is actually at the behest of the listing owner right so you are at control of what you want to show in the google maps or the google search uh, bar when people are searching for it so this is something that we have introduced is uh, you can update the business hours on the go so right? uh, Pramod, I have one question here. I'm I'm looking at the questions that I'm receiving from our uh, joinees, attendees, and yeah. interesting question. One I have, uh, one I'm seeing is uh, Mr. Sampath Reddy. He says he says that he owns a guest house, and uh, can he apply the same strategies as hotels when when he's listing Absolutely. his guest house uh, on his Google My Business? Absolutely. So uh, not only hotel businesses, I have seen multiple. a uh, businesses list on google google my business the only caveat that we have it sh should be your own business and should be verified right so as long as that is done i think uh, this exact thing is applicable to other businesses as well hmm thank you yeah? thank you yeah 
I think thank you, Mr. Is, Sampath, ready to to you know ask this question. I mean, it would have cleared doubts from many others. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so even I can see one question which is like very much prominent is about the like listing of the fee charges from the GMB. So I think Pramod, you can also highlight this part as well. Yeah, I mean, I was coming to it. Thank you, Praveen, yeah. for bringing this up. Yeah. So what's the? I mean, what's the catch here? What's the price? So there's actually a free product, and uh, there's no catch. Absolutely no catch in it. Uh, we want hotel businesses or. for that matter any business that has a physical location right now to come yeah. online right and th this is a part of our dig digitalization program at google so uh, there is no charge absolutely none for listing your business online right uh, in fact all the features that i speak about are free of charge today and there are multiple businesses currently that are using these features to enhance their online presence that sounds wonderful i mean really there is no charge at all once even my business goes live people start searching for my business i receive business i mean no charge nothing to pay absolutely none even if even if through a gmb listing you are doing a sale online that's your money we don't take any cut out of it right uh, so this is all a part as i said of uh, the online digitalization program at google and google my business listing is one of the prime products that we have for small and medium business owners wonderful thanks thanks for sharing this information so pramod uh, before you proceed i have one another question that i'm looking uh, may, might be relevant but uh, uh, yeah. some dikshant sankla uh, he's asking he is facing some problem he says that if i'm not receiving my verification code i am assuming yeah. that uh, he has not received it via mail so how can he now solve this I mean, is there a yeah. support line where he can reach out? Yeah. So this this is actually a fairly common problem with all the people, right? Because uh, we send it via India Post, and uh, the postcard is seldom delayed. So what happens is there are other ways, as I said, right, uh, of verification. So if you do not get a OTP by postcard, there is mm -hmm. phone. uh there is email there is instant mm -hmm. verification that we have just started so all of mm -hmm. this is currently available now and okay. uh, i think you could use those channels as well to verify mm -hmm. your business now thank you so dikshant i think you got your answer you can reach out you can use the other channels uh, that google has started post covid 19 and uh, i i i i hope that this uh, verification uh, gets solved because i'm reading a comment from uh, uh, abhilasha pra, uh, abhilasha right yeah and uh, she uh, she is happy that she uh, listed her business on google my business and she is saying that we reached break even only because of google my business so that is something that you know a positive news that i'm looking uh, into right so thank you abhilasha for sharing your uh, feedback for this thank you very much thank you thank you abhilasha i think uh, that's our endeavor with this product is to help people uh, sell online and in the most easiest way Yeah, Pravin. So, uh, sorry, Pramod. So, yeah, you were saying about listing and you no know, having uh, opening hours, closing hours. Yeah, yeah. What else can we do on this uh, Google My listing? Correct. So, uh, I think one of the examples that I said was about closing hours or uh, opening hours. But mm -hmm. what you can also also do, and this became really important in the light of COVID, is uh, temporary closures. So, people were searching yes. on uh, right. Is the hotel open now? Is the hotel COVID safe? Uh, so there are options available where you do not have to mark your business uh, permanently closed but you can now also choose temporary closures and that temporary closures are now featured when people search for uh, your hotels or as i said different uh, keywords related to your hotels right and why is this featured because this is something that people are searching for this is contextual information that people want when they are looking at your uh, listing So we've introduced okay. such uh, things. You can look at uh, some examples that we have highlighted in the slide of four points, right? Uh, it has mentioned that it is temporarily closed, right? But it is not permanently closed, and uh, you can also list out the reason why it is temporarily closed, right? So I all think, of these is something. Yeah, new. I think this is this is uh, useful, uh, especially in light of COVID nineteen. Correct. the other thing and this becomes again very important for a hotel is uh, the different kinds of amenities that a hotel provides right uh, so when you when you sell a room in a hotel there are different things that people actually look at right uh, now even more important is the hygiene but uh, does it have the different kind of the hotel has a different kind of amenities or not is a single bed queen bed king bed all of these are very very relevant terminologies when it comes to hotels right mm. 
we with the google my uh, business listing program what we offer is to list out all these amenities that you have in a hotel right? so, so i have, a, have i have a i have a question here pramod uh, yeah. so what i understand is if google is collecting this information i may be very well able to use this information to search um, the the business Absolutely. So let's say if I'm having a particular variety at my restaurant and I want to list that in, if I list that in my amenities, then I may be able to be visible on, you know, on Google listing because of listing, uh, mentioning on that amenity part. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and this is a great question because it, it actually ties back to my previous uh, answer on uh, contextuality, right? Okay. Uh, when people search on Google, right, uh, we try as much as possible to be very relevant to the searches, right? If somebody is searching for hotels with pool near me, right, if you have these amenities listed in your Google My Bus Business listing, we will show up because it is more contextual, it is more relevant to what people are searching for. That's why it becomes really important. Okay, so Pramod, again, I would I would just take a, a minute for, of yours. I'm sorry, interrupting so much because I have again an interesting question. Because we are into we are talking with hoteliers and restaurants, and no, these, these are our main attendees today. I have a question from Mr. Mukul Khemani. Uh, yeah. I understand that because of the nature of the tourism industry, travel and tourism sector that we are linked to, uh, he says that. Can this also be helpful if someone owns a handicraft and art gallery? I think it's very relevant because if I'm not owning a hotel or a restaurant, but I'm still in that in that stack sector, right? I so is it helpful? Can I absolutely? Yeah, so oh. as I said previously, right, if you own a small or a medium business or even a business that you are operating out of your garage, right, mm -hmm. uh, you can actually list it out, right? Okay, and this is a platform to list out your businesses so that people can discover you organically. As I said, this is free of course. So it, there's nothing chargeable on this. Okay. So that brings me to another question, uh, uh, Pramod. Uh, what if what if my business is closed? Unfortunately, let's say I've started something and I don't want it now on, on Google My Business listing. What yeah. are the procedure for it? Because I see a question from Mr. Yashwant Arya. Right. Uh, he says that he has a wrong listing, right? And maybe his his, his agreement with somebody got terminated, right? So what are now the steps, uh, you know, into this? Correct. So there, there are different procedures of ending a listing or uh, declaiming a listing, as we say it, right? As you are verifying and claiming a listing, there is a separate process which is absolutely opposite of declaiming it. So as I said, uh, there are email verifications. So there are email methods also to declaim a listing. Same, okay, same. So, so also applies here. Absolutely. And uh, the whole flow is different, uh, mm -hmm. but the channels remain the same. So you can actually call up a call center or mm -hmm. you can email a particular email address. And mm -hmm. uh, there are self-serve options also. When you go to a portal of Google mm -hmm. My Business, right? there are self-serve options where uh, you can actually Became also can i so can i so if i have a google my business application that you mentioned earlier correct. can i go into that application and do this yeah so it's not a straightforward process uh, it requires uh, as i said verification uh, also there uh, but there are options available and the same okay. channels actually apply to uh, what verification was right? so, so let me do one thing let me do one thing i, I mean because it's something uh, devi deviating from what we are talking about about listing and you no know, getting uh, thing so what i'll do is i'll just note this down and have my team reach out to mr yashwant arya and maybe I, we can guide later on in person to him but right. thank you very much yashwant for asking this question i mean uh, this would also help others who are trying the same yeah, yeah and it's very relevant i think uh, most of the people uh, the business listing gets outdated or they want to declaim it and reclaim another one or start a new business listing all these options are very relevant if you are running a business and we provide such kind of options also on the portal okay yeah so pramod you were talking about amenities and how it can help me uh, don't reach out to more customers if they are asking for spe something special yeah what interest other interesting things do you have no, so uh, one of the very interesting thing that that actually stems out from this stems if you're a hotelier and this is specifically applicable to hoteliers and uh, my colleague Praveen is, is going to cover that in the subsequent slides is once you have this listing ready right, and you have decked up this plain vanilla listing with all the features that we are talking about. Right. I saw a question somewhere which said, how do we how do I use this listing now? Can I show special prices? Can I show different uh, room rates to people? So there is a different offering that we have and which is which is an ads offering, 
right it is not an organic offering but it uses the same information of a gmb listing so the prerequisite of using that kind of feature is to have a gmb listing at the first place right so, so i think i think what you're telling is this is a beginners level where i can have my business listed and then if i want more exposure if i'm ready to spend more money that is when i go to google ads option right all right so google ads in google ads there are different features and different options that can use your same gmb listing and okay. then you then you can use uh, maybe a special rate or different rates for different people and uh, which i'll let ravin uh, cover in the subsequent slides yeah, okay. just one point i want to add from over here so yeah. uh, we cannot say this as a like uh, an, a beginner stage and google ad as a you know, like advanced level they both are like very different this can be considered as um, uh, something like whenever somebody want to show their result to the user uh maybe completely free uh, they don't want to do any kind of advertisement they are okay. free to use it when we do paid listing it it is completely a different thing Pe uh, people don't uh, people should not just like uh, uh, match this up with advanced and beginner level because they are two different volumes completely i guess correct okay okay thanks 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 praveen for clearing this out yeah and i think one of the most important things uh, which we introduced during uh, this period this last 6 7 months period of covid was uh, introducing a feature of a post right uh, so as as you see posts on di different social media sites right uh, this post is actually the same kind of thing that you can uh, have on your gmb listing as well so people could see this post and learn more descriptive things around your gmb listing so not only having the option of calling or where your uh, location is uh, or is it open right now or not right they can learn more about your uh, listing through a post right uh, and this became really important and i noticed this when uh, during covid people were using this post to uh, generate awareness about their listing right uh, is it uh, hygienic is it covid safe all of these can be then added as an extra feature which is more descriptive in nature rather than an objective uh, question that we have asked till now right okay. uh, some users use this post to show discounts as well and you can see how well uh, people have created uh, a discount post right uh, so you can have a, a photo of a offer along with the actual offer description right so you can okay. use Post. So, I, so I think what you're trying to say here is sorry, Pramod, but uh, it's really exciting that apart from mentioning my basic details, I can also then share. Uh, let's say if I'm running special promotions or offers, is that what you're re referring to? Absolutely, and uh, and this is not paid at all. As Praveen was mentioning, this is all organic, right? Okay. So uh, I don't have to I don't have to do a paid listing in order to get a discounted offer discoverable to somebody who is searching for it, right? Mm -hmm. uh, if let's say if somebody searches for restaurants near me or hotels near me right mm -hmm. uh, and your listing pops up right they can just click on your listing or browse your listing and find a discount offer organically right okay. so all of this okay. is something which we have opened for hotels restaurant owners or take out delivery uh, businesses to show this organically in the google my business profile itself I think I think this gives them one more reason to have them you know their business listed on on Google My Business. This is this is correct, interesting. Correct. I like this. Yeah. Yeah. So this was all about how do you get online and how do you actually use some of the features that we spoke about. But still, you would have noticed still that uh, these features are still incomplete because the main thing this this is how it looks like right now. Exactly. Uh, so that's that's. I, I think I was interrupting you too much, and I was trying to you know give you uh, time to explain your thing. So, thank you very much for coming back to me. So exactly my question that you no, know, this is very simple. I mean, how how will Google make it more uh, user friendly or likable on the screen? You know, people who like to have see images. So I for myself, if I go online and I'm trying to search something, and if I don't if don't see images, I would. i would barely show interest in it so if i'm searching for a restaurant i need to see how the place looks like or maybe if you're if you're, if you're selling something like for artifacts for example you no know, we had one of the questions so if i don't see what you're selling how would i be yeah. more interested in it so i think that's my answer uh, right there correct. please please share correct in the and you are absolutely right because in this new age of media people are actually consuming information which are more visual in nature rather than text descriptive nature right so not only photos 
but uh, there are videos as well that you can actually upload uh, on your google my business page so once you've created this listing the listing looks like something like this right uh, you can add whatever we mentioned till now address opening hours information direction etc but what actually sets your uh, business apart and very very relevant for a hotel business because uh, a long shot facade or how does a room look like is something exactly. what people are looking yeah, exactly. for or what makes me stand apart from the rest of you know my competitors so this is exactly what i was asking for yeah correct correct and nobody nobody actually will come to your hotel or will look at your business if you do not have photos when it comes to hotels in the hospitality industry i think visual media plays a very important role so you can actually upload photos you can actually upload some videos so if i may share my if i may share my experience again about the festival festival days uh, promote i was i was searching for some local uh, uh, item here right uh, you very well know that you no know, in festival days we will at our house, household we will start making sweets right uh, it's not that everybody would bring in sweets from outside so i was trying to get some raw material from my uh, from my local area and i was trying to search a business i found the the business online thanks to this google my my business listing but unfortunately i was not able to find the phone number now unless i see the phone number i cannot call the business and then you no know, proceed so i think guys this is very important for you that if you have done this listing make sure that the information is updated latest information you might have a phone number which is very old uh, i have i have for, for if i share my example i had my my landline phone but it's not working now so it's out of uh, no uh, service so you may want to go back check if everything is updated and then have relevant information there so that people can reach out to you i, I think that, that this this answers my question as well i was what i was facing yeah no but hold your thought uh, snehal because uh, in in just a few slides i have something really exciting if somebody has a phone number or doesn't have a phone number how can they utilize something that we have introduced just now so just I, a few I mean, more okay 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 but i'm excited <laughs> yeah so what i'll come back to is the business photos right uh, very essential for uh, hospitality based service business uh, to have photos videos uh, in order for people to look at what they are getting into what they are offering uh, we've done a small uh, comparison and we noted that 90% of the customers are most likely to visit a business that has photos on the search itself page and which is very intuitive uh, if you think right i mean uh, nobody so, I, i mean nobody from the attendees would deny that yes showing of pictures they themselves would like to see pictures and they would click only the businesses where they would see pictures absolutely right uh, in fact this is how after using a logo a cover photo different business photos that you have uploaded for your hotel this is at the end of the day how a gmb listing should look like right uh, now if you see there are different options that you have of adding a cover photo of adding a logo right cover photo is something that is a static photo when people search on google search and mm -hmm. this listing is actually then is displayed right okay. so what is the best photo that you want to show people right that's the cover photo right uh, logo is the logo of your business that you're in in fact you we have added sharing options as well so mm -hmm. if i i discover this right and if i want uh, snehal and pravin to also uh, know this right uh, i can share it from the gmb listing page also with you so all these options we've created for the ease of use and to make this more intuitive for a customer so pramod i have a question here for you so let's say if i have a hotel and a restaurant i have a restaurant right. in my hotel so can i have them list separately absolutely you can do that okay right. okay that's in fact i i live in bombay in santa cruz and uh, grand hayat is a big hotel in bombay in santa cruz right uh, i'm really fond of chinese food so uh, wherever i see grand hayat in search list pop up they have their chinese restaurant li listed uh, differently right okay. uh, and it gives them uh, a uh, important uh, distinction because restaurants we offer different some features which are which are tailored to to restaurants in gmb business so they can use those kind of features uh, which are tailored more towards a restaurant business right uh, so I, i thank thanks thanks ramon but i think this answers this answers mr arun kumar raman who is attending our session today and uh, he is also having the same question that can i have a separate listing for my hotel as well as my restaurant so i think that that's uh, that that's answering his question and uh, i also see one concern i would like to just bring it up uh, mr chirag deep datta he is uh, question uh, is is asking whether uh, there should be an option or 
is there an option to put up the days where hotel is closed so i think you already answered in one of the slide where i can mention as per the days my working hours as well as if it's open or closed right on that particular day correct you can do a permanent option for example if you're closed on sundays you can just put in a permanent option saying sundays we are closed or you can have a temporary closure or temporary information also added to it if you are let's say working for only 6 hours or 7 hours uh, a day right uh, then you can put that information as temporary closure also so both the options are available for you so so just just not to take other uh, support related questions uh, pramod i would like to know uh, from you quickly whether if i have a google business listing and i have any concerns do i do i have an option in my google business listing application uh, to reach out to support or any phone number absolutely there's a help section there and okay, if you download okay the app right uh, in fact it's it's very easy if you have the app because uh, what i'll also cover in the subsequent slides is how can you use the app in different ways not only just listing but uh, there is a particular feature in the app that helps you do much more than just listing and one of the features also is help section where you can ask for help uh, okay. you can direct email or do a phone call all those are available there so as we already run the poll and we understand that more than 80% of our attendees are already listed so i am seeing in the question section i am seeing a lot of uh, support related questions that you know if i am listed here what are what is the option to do this do that right so i think that is a, a very relevant answer from you that yeah if you download an application there is a help section and yeah please i, I would like you to uh, you know quickly go through that section because i am seeing so many uh, you know concerns regarding that as well no i i am not surprised i tell you why because i own a small business and i run the same gmb listing and these are some of the questions that i had when i used to run that business right okay. uh, there is the help section whom do i contact right what i'll do is at the end of the presentation i'll share a list of all the important resources which we can forward to all these people who are attending today and these important resources will cover some of uh, the support questions that they are asking So, uh, so just just one uh, i'm sorry uh, pramod before you move to the next slide if you may want to switch to the next slide but uh, i have a very important question here uh, mr paul uh, mr paul chetapudza he's asking can we take a hotel booking and get payments via google my business oh, that's a great question i think uh, that's the nirvana point that we want to reach uh, very <laughs> everything online right uh, starting from uh, listing to actually the end point of sale is what we are trying to achieve with this product uh, to so answer currently you cannot uh, to answer that question currently we are not in the full and final stages of doing the whole cycle right uh, okay but we will get there right so we it's we are trying to get there uh, wherein you do not need anything else apart from just any third party of, involvement uh -huh. correct 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 sir because the likes of uh, easy which are the great partners to us right we'll involve uh, third parties to complete the i think, the I think it's, it's good news for paul that uh, in coming years uh, i i would not say months but in coming years we would see you no know, end to end solution provided by google where no third party is involved at all i think yeah. i think yeah but actually you know what paul brings a very important point which is today what happens after you do all of this right so you you get this right uh, you have a listing you have this listing which is now looks like a listing right uh, uh, has all the photos relevant business uh, information what happens after somebody discovers and clicks it right where do they go they go to this website right now do do you need to create this website uh, i bet that, that 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 that's a, that's a very that's a very important slide here promo then i cannot stop myself but ask a question here uh that that is related to my profile as well because i very often ask this question to my you uh, know uh, my context that uh, why do they shy away from having a website because most of the time when i when i see why why not a website so i think i have i have a question i i need to ask here that no do you think that they should have a website i mean this is a very, very generic question that i always have in my mind because i always speak to my customers so let me ask this question uh, quickly and then you can talk about this as well it's very relevant here yeah 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 so guys you can you can answer this question is having a website essential for hotel businesses i would love to hear i mean seriously pramod uh, this is everyday question because we reach out to i talk to customers on a daily basis and yeah. you no know, sometimes 
it baffles me that why would somebody not want a website right obviously there there's something like maintenance and but things have gone so easy these days does yeah. google do anything to help us in this uh, section correct so I, i'll come to that I, i'm just waiting for uh, people to answer this poll so that i can uh, answer it very contextually but uh, okay. to answer some part of your question i think uh, with the times changing i think uh, social commerce and e-commerce has become really really important right uh, now what paul was also mentioning is uh, can we bypass the whole process of creating a website and can the listing be our storefront and can i take a booking from the listing as well right uh, and to answer that question i said uh, we are currently not there but uh, what we can do from a listing today is people can call you up people can look for directions and visit your uh, physical storefront from a digital store or people can click and visit your website now what we have done is uh, i know there's 90% people who are agreeing that they should have a hotel business and i understand absolutely. why i mean there is yeah absolutely there is so a general consensus is that, that they should have a website but for um, for some reason i mean they're not having it so maybe maybe google can help in that uh, department correct correct and and uh, we being a technology company we ha- we actually uh, acknowledge this point that uh, the core competency of a small and medium business is to run the business it's not to get into website designing and uh, creating websites right uh, what we have done is we have given a very easy intuitive uh, platform for you to list your most important things of business can we use that listing information and create a one click website for you so all you need to do is just click select the theme and publish your website your website is created online free right uh, you can use this websites not only on uh, google my business but you can use it this website url anywhere if you want to promote your bus- business through a website anywhere you can use this website as well so you mean it's a proper website uh, like if i open it on my computer my laptop my desktop my anywhere my mobile right on any digital platform it's a, it's a proper website that i can use it to show correct. my business correct and you okay. do not html or any coding uh, knowledge to actually create this what you did so was... from what i understand pramod this is exciting because i just want to uh, reconfirm that i just need to provide my business details my images of the business right and that's it that's it absolutely the, the operation hours and and all those other details right you could okay. see a okay. spe- specimen website that we have created for stasia's bakery right this is how it would look like right uh, we've used your information that you have provided us for a google my business listing the logos photos the business uh, information all of this is now created into a website which is hosted by us right all free of cost you can use this url anywhere i am i would i would like to say that i am impressed if i am running a small business i would specially go right now and no have a listing right now because what else can a, a businessman ask for right you are getting my business listed you are also giving me a website that's free of again is it free of cost it's free of cost absolutely <laughs> thanks <laughs> thanks right so uh, at the end of the day there are three four options that people can choose from as i said one is uh, of course they can call you if you have, the, have their number and then over the call itself you can do the final sale uh, they can check for your directions where your location is based they can come to your location and then physically you can do uh, the the sale the third and the most important prevalent uh, nowadays is online commerce uh, for which you require a website uh, this actually enables online commerce for you now right the- so while you are while you're talking about this i would ask the next relevant question now they everybody has agreed that no business for a uh, website is essential for business i would like to ask and know who all from our attendees today have a hotel website or i would put it in a different way that a website for be it for a hotel or a restaurant so guys i would like to hear uh, you know while uh, pramod is sharing more information on how you know we can have a website yeah sorry pramod most, please i assume most of it would have it because uh, at the end of the day hotel business is uh, an online business now right uh, online becoming online has become really important really now, important in, yeah i see there is a room for uh, improvement <laughs> i i still see uh, somewhere around 15 15% people s- still saying no right yeah but i think your information that you have shared that by having my business listed on google i sh- i can also have a website kind of thing right it's it's absolutely uh, 
useful information for me at least yeah, no additional tech effort required no additional man hours or uh, hiring a website agency required for this uh, you can just create it uh, it would be a simple website like this but it will serve your purpose okay thanks so guys yeah i mean you can take advantage of this those who are already listed please uh, share uh, please uh, do look into this option and see uh, how you can have your uh, own website no uh, which is actually uh, done by google and see how it uh, helps you and those who are not i am sure you are going to uh, no uh, look out for this option correct and once you have all of these in fact once you have the website also listed uh, as i said there are different attributes uh, previously as i was speaking about whether you have a hotel inside or whether you have a restaurant inside pool spa etc all of these then can be added as attributes and these attributes can then be used not only for organic listing but uh, as i covered previously also you can do some kind of paid listings once you have all of these attributes together right and this is your then uh, digital storefront for paid listings as well okay okay and I right. I'm not going to paint these things today. I'll uh, let my colleague Pravin cover it uh, in the next slides. But uh, you are now ready. That's what I wanted to uh, tell you. Right. Uh, the another very important thing that I keep on getting messages on is uh, look in a in a service business. It's very important to build uh, loyalty, and loyalty actually comes from great reviews. right that's one of the yardsticks to measure whether people are liking my offering or not and uh, can is there some some way i can uh, get reviews from customers who are visiting my website or who are actually staying at my hotel what we've done is uh, we've enhanced this a lot over the years right uh, now in the app itself you can go and check for your reviews you can reply to your reviews these reviews are public so people can actually look at these reviews when uh, they are discovering your listing they can read all the reviews you can manage these reviews in such a way that uh, the good reviews are highlighted more so all of this is are available options that we have enabled for hotel owners whether they use it on the app or they go to website and can manage this very intuitively very seamlessly online I think I can now relate Pramod because I myself have uh, used some of these features by which are which are already uh, maybe in my local area surroundings businesses are using this right they are aware like 80% of our attendees are also aware so yeah I have been uh, you know uh, giving reviews when I visit places right so yeah I, I can relate now thank you thank you and is this same being notified is this same of what we were talking about earlier like phone number if I don't have a phone number I can leave a message is is this related so this actually sets the stage for what's coming next right okay. important, important things to note here is as soon as somebody writes a review right you are notified if you have the app you are notified instantly on the mobile app right uh, and you can then go check the review reply to the review uh, answer the review as we say right uh, you can also ask people to share a review right so we've created a sharing link that you would see in your uh, gmb profile so this is how your gmb profile would actually look like when you open it in a website right so if you open it from a desktop or a mobile web this is the portal that we offer right uh, uh, this dashboard has many features it not only tells you what kind of reviews are you receiving but you can actually ask also for a review for people who have stayed right uh, so you can share a short link to them and they can reply uh, okay in the, in the service business this is very important this because this as i said has become one of the most important things to make a decision now so absolutely uh, absolutely i mean i mean we should, we we are uh, we we would be joking if we would be teaching our attendees about reviews i mean they all know what reviews does these days right yeah. we all are aware about the the power of reviews so yeah guys this is important i mean and and pramod just to uh, uh, again ask and clear my doubt uh, if by chance my phone number my address any information amenities right anything that i need to change all i need to do is download the google my business application log into my account and just change it from there right it's all there Absolutely. yeah okay. and, and important point is once the verification is complete you don't have to verify or change information and verify again and again so mm -hmm. once you verify that this is your listing you claim the listing then you can do multiple changes in phone numbers or multiple changes in location not the location location has to be same but multiple changes in phone numbers uh, and you don't have to go and verify every time so it saves time 
Okay. Uh, before we before we proceed to the next slide, Pramod, there there are so many questions about. Uh, I'm reading where they are saying uh, that you know, uh, is there any extra net for managing my? So the word I'm I'm reading here is paid listing. Yeah. <laughs> I I understand there is there is a, a misunderstanding here. There is nothing called paid listing, right? If if we are talking about Google My Business, it is completely free. It's not paid, right? That's what you have shared today. And if let's say if they're talking about paid listing, then they're talking about Google hotel ads, right? Absolutely. What Ravin was talking about earlier. Right. So in the paid listing, there is the hotel ads world, uh, which is absolutely paid. Uh, and another thing that we have is the same simple Google ads. So on okay. the search, on the, on the search, but uh, GMB listings, if we talk about paid listings of GMB, that is hotel ads. Okay. Okay. Hotel ads. Okay. Yeah which uh, Praveen can cover in the next slides or we can cover in the subsequent sessions because uh, that is to do with everything which is paid and where we charge, right? So, uh, yeah, so guys, just for you guys uh, who are attending, uh, if you think that organic listing is not enough for you and if you want to have your business listed uh, in this paid listing or Google ads, right, you can reach out to your account manager easy because uh, we do this Google hotel ads uh, you know, for you guys, uh, for our customers. So yeah, I mean, uh, a simple ways to reach out to your account manager and they would help you further how you can have your hotels listed on uh, Google or Google ads. Correct. Yeah, promote. Yeah, please. Yeah, and, and this was the prelude to what you were asking me, right? This is the, the big thing that we've introduced right now is uh, messaging on the Google My Listing business page, right? Okay. So, so now, so now if I don't have a phone number, I can simply leave or start yeah. communicating as a message with the business. Correct, this is correct. fantastic. This is fantastic. So is it live for everybody? Why was I not able to use this a few weeks back? No, so it's a, it's a, it's a relatively new feature and we are trying to make it live to everybody right uh -huh. now. Uh, and uh, I have used this as a feature uh, live uh, with businesses in and around Indoor during Diwali year. Okay. Uh, Indoor is very famous for food. And during Diwali, I had to bring in Namkeen for my relatives. So I used this feature for uh, different listings that were available near me, right? And this works like a charm. I am telling you, this is so good that I asked them, what is the, what are the different kinds of uh, flavors and Namkeens available to you? In 24 hours, I got a reply. I called them up, visited and got the Namkeen. So I didn't, have, I didn't have to do a lot of steps. Uh, and this actually works in your favor because uh, some trivial information about your hotels, for example, if somebody doesn't notice the full listing, but notices the message option and they want to message you saying, are you open or do you have uh, inventory for this date? You can reply. Yeah, I, mean, I, I totally understand for a user, for a consumer, uh, even though you have a, uh, no, a Bible listed there, he may come up with a question and it's very easy. It's very human to ask a question and then be able to get an answer you no, know, by questioning uh, somebody. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, this is wonderful. I would definitely look into this when I'm next you know, checking for businesses on my phone. Thank you very yeah. much. This is interesting. This is helpful. Cool. Uh, and we're trying to, uh, there's no third party involved uh, right now. So uh, we're trying to make it, as we said, uh, it's a relatively new feature. So we are trying to make it open to everybody who's listing on the GMB page. Uh, if you can't see it right now, please be patient. This would roll out to everybody and people would start using this and you will start receiving messages real time on your mm -hmm. mobile app or on your uh, website, which you could reply to them. Okay, uh, just a small piece of information that I wanted to share. I am I'm I'm checking a question here. Uh, Manohar Sharma is asking: Is Google Business and Google Maps same? So I think they are totally different. They're very they're totally different. different. Right? Yeah, very different. And uh, I uh, it, it's a very relevant question. I think uh, these are some of the questions that come. Uh, so Google Maps is a very different product, but Google My Business listing is something that features not only on Google Maps, but also on Google search. So like Google search, Google Maps is a different product. Uh, and, and, but, and, yeah. and, 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 and Pramod, uh, thanks for answering that. But I have uh, uh, Nashil Irfan. Uh, I'm, I'm constantly seeing question his questions on the side, uh, the chat window here. And he has asked a question which I missed to ask you, we talked about images. What about videos? Can Google yeah. help me upload videos? Yeah, so we've also launched uh, the videos thing. And as I said, this is also new. So uh, you can upload videos and mm -hmm. 
apart from images uh, and different kinds of images so different sizes of images we so there's square there's landscape there's portrait sizes you can also upload uh, the videos as well and and this offers and promotions that you talked about i have a question for mr nikhil roy uh, he is saying that uh, he runs a resort and he has a listing and he wants to uh, put this offers on 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 this gmb right but he's unable to do that so is this yeah. limited to some businesses or no 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 so uh, we do not have a offer section differently uh, uh -huh. what i what i mentioned in my previous slides was how people are using the post section okay 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 so, you, so can, you need to go to the post section and then list your offers onto that okay correct correct so you can okay. either have a descriptive post or uh -huh. you can also have a image which talks about an offer right so uh -huh. it all depends upon you how do you want to tailor your post section so i think nikhil i think nikhil if you are uh, hearing us uh, just get a good image of promotion or offer that you want to run and put it on this gmb and i think it, it you no know, with some text and i think it should definitely reach out to your uh, guest to your customers correct yeah and this thing is interesting the next slide that you have promote uh, my favorite uh, mm -hmm. reports i mean mm -hmm. we can't stop talking about reports so yeah everything done as a businessman i would like to know i mean that that's the most interesting part how what all are who all are visiting how many visits this and that so many questions please help uh, at the end of the day uh, it's very important to know ki dhanna kitna hua right these are all good things to have yes but the essence, the, the the essence is why yeah, we are correct. Everybody... correct so uh, it's good to have a listing it's good to uh, decorate the listing and use all the features but at the end of the day this is what matters and this is where we excel as google right uh, this is converting data into insights and relevant insights that actually you can use for your business to see how your listing is helping you right uh, you track the number of uh, sale that you're doing the revenue that you're getting from listings but we attribute and we are good at attributing and sharing these reports with you so uh, how many people are actually seeing your listing searching for you clicking on that uh, directions page uh requesting directions or coming uh, to your website every day great measures and great kpis as i say uh, to different businesses to understand is your listing working for you or not okay right, so i mean this is this is this is helpful i i i think i have i have somebody who would help me with this i would love, love to see this i don't own a business right now but i would definitely like to see this so i know a person whom i can reach out to you no know, check this out thanks for sharing this i'm i i i in particular i'm interested in reports and how you no know, uh, data for example google has so much data we know you no know, it sits on so much data so i would be interested in seeing how google derives sense out of this data and then shows it to you no know, the business thanks correct correct so uh, one question from uh, so without can taking I... much time i Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Just one last question from me. Uh, can I have two listings for the same business? Two listings, as in for the same business. So let's say I own uh, some shop, right? And I want to have two separate listings for the same shop. Can I? Can I do that? I can. No, 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 no I don't. So listing has to, no, no. Listing has to be unique because at the end of the day, listing is claimed after a. thorough verification process correct so uh, i was thinking so, yeah, the same that in the verification pro process itself it would be uh, uh, rejected kind of rejected right 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 so uh, we we have seen cases and uh, we try to shell out these cases uh, with our advanced learning but uh, you can't have two listings from the same address right now i mean who would want that true true yeah. cool uh, so right, before so I, I know I've taken a lot of time in covering uh, the Google My Business part, right? Uh, but very quickly, I want to cover some of uh, the things that I have seen people using uh, as markets are rebounding now. As Praveen shared, travel is slowly but steadily coming back. Uh, the demand for hotels has seen the major uptick, right? Uh, so how people have used some of the things that I, I have uh, uh, spoken about, right? Uh, this is something very unique that I've seen uh, on the GMB listing page. as i said uh, posts and updates is something that you can cater and you can tailor for uh, anything that you want to right so uh, be one of the questions that was asked earlier right so this is related to that okay 
correct so you can use it to update your uh, reopening hours or now that you are reopening can you can you have a post which says that we are open now uh, if you want to learn more click on the learn more and you go to that website which you created by just one click right or uh, we'll introduce options of booking online and you can click on book and then you can again uh, go to the website so using posts as a feature to update about your reopening is something that i've seen now people using it uh, after the lockdown uh, reopening uh the second thing is uh, as somebody asked also right uh, yes. can we increase intent with an offer right and uh, this is something else that i've seen happening on the post section as well uh, okay. creating okay so this is a live example of people doing this using uh, the update section or the post section to uh, talk about offers okay good correct right uh, and uh, as we spoke about reports right there are really new reports that we have seen uh, people using it now so some of the insights that we have seen uh, people use now is uh, when is the peak time or the day for my business right uh, can i use that information in some way can i have off peak or discount and non off peak or uh, non discount so do they call more do they request for directions or do they visit website and complete transactions how do they interact with your profile how what is the footfall that i'm seeing so we can actually measure now people coming to your physical store as well from an online interaction so mm -hmm. all of this is And so uh, pramod thank thank you for sharing this one one question again i am uh, uh, i just realized that while we are talking about everything restaurants hotels i never saw prices anywhere correct <laughs> yeah you're right so uh, one is because this is an organic listing right you uh -huh. want to be as organic as possible there is an update section as i said the post section where you can update your prices uh -huh. uh, but in order to highlight the prices of rooms or the prices of different offerings that you have in your hotel be it a restaurant or a spa etc that's where the paid listing comes into place okay, right so that okay. so i think that is where praveen is uh, going to talk about and he is going to share more information mm -hmm. correct correct so that's okay. the hotel ad uh, which you are more familiar uh, than anybody here you run mm -hmm. different uh, hotel ads business uh, with different place in in india right uh, yeah. so that's where highlight your price and that's where uh, then you actually compete with other players the other ots as we say in the business okay okay good good so i i think with that uh, i i told you this these are some of the important resources what i'll also do is add some of these support resources as well because i see a lot of questions coming on verification uh, claiming declaiming other support resources so i'll try to find out uh, internally from google what are the different support resources we can offer and uh, we can then share this as a resource bundle to everybody who is present here definitely thank you thank you very much pramod so yeah guys uh, what i'll be doing is i would uh, be sharing this with uh, in fact my team is going to share this uh, the recording of this video that we are having today and uh, for for your later on review and again uh, the important resources that you may may want to go through and you know get your answers from this resources so thank you very much pramod uh, for sharing this yeah and uh, i think uh, it's been an interactive session but i i know there are still lot of questions after this very tiring one and a half year of uh, half hours of me speaking so happy to take any other questions or if in the interest of time you want to do it at the end we can do it at the end as well yeah we i would i i think we have taken a lot of questions in between uh, just one question here because we have pulled up the question and answer uh, uh, the slide here uh, mr praveen here is asking uh, how quickly can we rectify or take out a fake negative review <laughs> yeah so fake negative reviews are a big problem and uh, again there are options available to flag those right uh, the tact or uh, the the time taken to verify depends uh, upon our support team as well so uh, once you flag it it goes through an automated process of verification at our end usually mm -hmm. it takes 20 24 hours but uh, case to case basis it can differ okay and what if i have so i am a businessman i have multiple restaurants do i need to have multiple google accounts to have this listed in my account or one okay. account and multiple listings is okay so it all depends upon you uh, you can actually have one account right okay. which is the source of truth for you for all those locations that you own or Correct. It, it 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 completely depends upon you if you want to create 10 different google accounts and manage 10 different properties that you have through 10 different google accounts you can do that also 
Okay. Uh, one one quick technical question that I'm I'm uh, reading from Mr. Vipul Patel. He's asking whether you have a message API. I remember you talking about APIs. Yeah. Uh, so, so please. Uh, yeah. Currently, we not expose the message API right now, mm -hmm. uh, but. Uh, the verification API is live. Uh, the Google My Business verification API is something that we have exposed to people. And uh, as I said, this is an evolving product where we try to bring in different APIs online to people and expose it so that they can use it for their businesses as well. So currently, it is as a feature on the GMB listing page, but we have not exposed it to anything else. OK. OK, OK. Right, I think I think uh, uh, we have covered most of the questions. There are still many remaining, but I will leave this to my team, right? Thank you very much, guys, for asking so many questions. These are so much relevant questions. And I'm, I'm sorry, but we are running out of time. I have Praveen waiting to share more about hotel ads because we all want to know more about hotel ads as well. Uh, so let us quickly, uh, Pramod, if you don't mind, I would take five more minutes right i want i want to share uh, some real life uh, uh, while we were talking and talking about business listing and all those things i remember that you no know, i have a colleague who owns a business right and he also went through the similar process right so i i think uh, people here would like to hear him right uh, the real life experience so let me quickly ask uh, my colleague to get online, right? And we can hear from his uh, own experience how the Google business listing helped him, right? How he actually heard about this, right? So yeah, let me quickly uh, do a message to him and he will join us, okay? If you don't mind, sure. quick five minutes. No, not at all, thank you. Thank you, Snehal, for this. Uh, in the meantime, Snail, I think there's one question from Dr. S. Venkate Um Yes, Doctor, we will try to like answer your question in the next part of this session. OK, I think I am not able to uh, reach him. Yes. OK, let's keep it. Let's keep it uh, for another day. Pramod, thank you very much. That was very detailed. Uh, very interactive and i think most of the time i uh, had many questions <laughs> uh, thank you for answering and no uh, answering all my questions and also the attendees they they were they were quite good a lot of questions so yeah, yeah. praveen uh, thank you thank you Snail. thank you thank you very much once again so praveen uh, yeah. without uh, further delay i would like uh, your uh, insights about google ads because that are most of the questions that are we are uh, no i'm i'm reading in the in the question section people are confused between google business listing and google ads so please yeah yes yeah, so just to start like google ad is a platform by which you can uh, publicize more about your online properties you can reach to the user on google.com page you can go you can reach to uh, more than 90 percent of the website that is existing on overall in internet so the the primary difference between google my business and google ads you can say is this is more like a push from uh, from the advertised side and you can get incremental on whatever you are getting for example if you want to get if you're already getting some clicks if you're already getting some conversion so with google ads you can try to get like more clicks or more conversion, more sales, basically. So this is like a like online advertisement tool. So okay. yeah, uh, so this like yeah, I will try to cover all this part at least what is happening with online advertising and how you can push more, how you can reach out to more number of users with the right messaging, uh, with the help of um, at least two products for this for the sake of the this this particular session. And uh, I have divided overall session into three parts. The first is about um, intro to. Uh, online advertisement what is happening how does a user understand what they want and uh, uh, which page or which particular service the person has to use to and then i'll give like a little bit of introduction about google ads how does it work uh, and about search product and one particular display product which i think will be very very useful for our hotel here. so let's start and uh, into online yeah, advertisement please, please. I'm, I'm really excited so before even I start, I just have like one question for you. Like, what do you think is the average time spent by uh, people on internet? I I can speak about myself. Uh, yeah. Maybe 60, 70 percent. I'm always connected to phone these days. So yeah, let, let's say 60, 70. 
Yeah, I think uh, you're very close to it. Uh, uh -huh. So uh, on an average, the amount of time when people are awake, they spend about six hours for two minutes every day. So it's not the time when people are going online anymore. We are actually living online right now. We are connected to everything what we are doing. We we, we track our health uh, health reports. We as soon as we get any question, we try to go to Google.com, try to search for the answer. Or if you want to go for any activities or want to look for any more content around it, we go to YouTube and just to try to understand how can I do something by myself or what are the activities that is available. Just to get like some feel, people are connected to some kind of online channel every every time. So you you're, you're completely right that. Um, uh, the, the working person probably is like stuck to internet for more than 70 percent of time just one piece of more question if i if you may allow to me allow, allow to ask is if, if let's suppose you're planning for a next online trip or basically next uh, trip for your next next weekend so uh -huh. what will be like general strategy that you will go after to make the trip like possible i mean it's a no-brainer uh, praveen i would definitely go to google try and search so let's say I have already decided where I want to go. So let's say I'm, if I'm going to Goa, I would definitely type in Goa. And the first thing I'm going to type is, uh, no, uh, let's, let's say uh, what are hotels I'm going to uh, yeah. no, visit in Goa or what are the best hotels in Goa? Or maybe I want to now in, in context of COVID-19, I want to search if uh, what are the best places you know, or the safest place in Goa, right? Uh, I may try and search for online ticketing, online booking, right? Uh, yeah. There are various things. Uh, I may not be in chronological order, but there are so many things now that you have asked, uh, I, I can think about uh, when I plan my holidays. Yeah, that is so yeah, Google. I, I think the, the essence of my answer is Google would be the center of my uh, search, right? I would definitely go on Google and try searching different things related to my, uh, my, my, my uh, holiday that I'm planning. Thanks for asking. I'm not going anywhere this year. <laughs> yeah, so that 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 is like our uh, I think uh, uh, plan would be that Google should answer all the questions. But for for a general public, I think the the information or flow of information would look something like this. The person will decide like when is the weekend. But the first thing that person will try to understand is whether there is a hotel in that destination where he's trying to go or not. Absolutely. Yeah. Uh, so you can see, like as I will flow through this particular journey, you will see that how many touch points are there where a particular traveler is interacting with the website. And uh, luckily, uh, we have about 83% of the users in this particular session who have the website property at least. So we can see like how many uh, touch points or internet touch points where people are able to grasp or get more, in more information just to make their decision clear. Then the person will try to understand uh, whether or not there is some kind of restriction placed by government in, in light of COVID. Once they get the information, they will try to understand what are the activities that is available on that particular destination. They will go on YouTube to just to understand uh, how does the activity or how does the uh, locality look like. People will try to understand, go on Google Maps, maybe they will get some kind of GMB listing, uh, whether uh, the hotel exists or not, what kind of service or facilities available. And then finally, they will book a transaction and uh, they'll get a final confirmation on Gmail. So this is the flow and this makes it very, very important that we should be having some or other kind of uh, um, at least website or, or online presence, maybe the help of GMB, just to make sure that the user is aware of uh, our, our hotelier yes. ser services and business here. Yeah. So, so it's very important for uh, anybody at the moment to be first discoverable so one part is already been covered by promote that uh, you can de definitely be more discoverable with the help of gmb or you can do you can have your own website with the with the sufficient amount of content with, which is very much pertinent with the users with the very much pertinent with the target user that you're looking for and has like very much flow in structure everything in place so that even without any kind of online ad advertisement you can still be able to reach to the user the second thing is that uh, you can do online advertisement and that that takes care of some part of your effort you do not have to like put a lot of you don't have to have like very big team you don't have to do like a lot of coding um you can go on google adwords you can have like very, very standard page and you can push by paying for the for the i think somewhere somebody was asking the question that yeah uh, so this, this brings to me uh this brings me to the question uh praveen uh that i would like to ask i have i've i've uh, mentioned it here in my notes as well that uh, what do our uh, attendees think? What works best for them? I mean, are they interested? In, because you also have a slide which says online booking. So I would like to understand whether they uh, they would prefer direct bookings or OTA bookings. What works best for them? 
I mean, let, let's ask them. Let's see while you're talking about this, you know, uh, customer's journey to drive the bookings. So yeah, guys, I mean, I would love to, uh, I would love to see what you prefer. Is it direct bookings? Please remember that if you love direct bookings, you need to have a website and your online presence. Yeah. Yeah, I can see about it. More than eighty percent people are looking for that weekend. That's obvious also because that save a lot of money in terms of giving as a commission. Definitely, definitely. So now I think, yeah, I, I, I definitely knew the answer. Everybody loves direct bookings. There's so many reasons to love direct bookings. But I think uh, uh, on behalf of them, what I would like to ask Pravin is, how can Google help me drive direct bookings? That's the main question today for everybody. Yeah, sure. So let me quickly jump on this um, online advertising part. Basically, Google can help you in terms of doing online advertisement. Only requirement from your side would be to have a website. Mm -hmm. um, so there are like a lot of benefits of online advertisement. First of all, you can completely track all the performance metrics. You can track who is coming to your website and you can send out all the information to right set of people. For example, if you have different messages for an age group of 25 to 35, you can do that. If you have different messages for the people who are living maybe in Delhi or maybe in another part of the India, then you can send out different messages. So okay. it gives you so much control that you can uh, you can you can easily customize your message based on the user. The second thing is that you can con you can have like control on the budget. So some people might think like uh, they're paying it to Google, so they should definitely have some kind of control, and they don't want to spend on certain like set, they only want to spend like certain amount of money on any particular day. So Google gives you like complete control on your budget, how much amount of money, whatever amount of money you want to pay, you can pay it based on whatever conversion or whatever. So there is uh, so so just just I'm sorry, Praveen, I'm interrupting, but you mean to say that Google allows I I have control on my own budget. Google would never uh, drive the budget for me if no, I'm listed uh, going for Google Ads. Yeah, so it depends completely on you. If you want to spend hundred rupees, if you want to spend ten rupees, or if you want to spend ten thousand rupees, okay. uh, it, it completely depends upon you. Whatever you want to spend, you can spend, and based on that, you can get the conversion and the basically goal that you are trying to achieve. And okay, also, so I think it's directly proportional. How much I I spend and how much I you know get visibility. Yeah. Okay, okay, but there yeah, is no so, control from Google. Google will not push me for anything directly okay yeah that's, so you have like complete control even mm -hmm. you have control on the serving of the campaign for example somebody was asking that uh, uh, their business is not live on any particular day of the week so you're mm -hmm. free to like pause your campaign that particular day or any particular uh, time of the day let's suppose you are not you're having a restaurant and it's not serving from 10 a.m to 2 p.m so you can mm -hmm. uh, you can stop your uh, campaign at that particular time so that it will not drive uh, traffic to your website so you have like complete flex flexibility in terms of whatever you want to do so this let, let me give you like one uh, little bit more insight on how google ads work but before uh before then that uh, let me show you like i, I i'm sure that everybody might have uh, experienced this in their experience in their day-to-day -day life whenever we want to get any kind of answer and we if, if you're seeking help from google then we directly open google.com page we just type our uh, query and intent. Uh, for example, it could be a bakery near me, or how to cook up uh, like fresh cake, or what are the activities available in Goa. These kind of questions you will ask, and as soon as you will enter, you will get a page like this. So this page is is basically divided into two parts. The first part, which is in the top, is the paid search result. That is basically uh, all the ads that is coming from Google Ads and uh, it's very much similar and very much pertinent to the user and the terms that is present on the uh, basically search query and the second part which is about the organic reason so even if you're not paying there is very very high chance that if you take care of your website very well if you are having like proper flow everything in place then even without paying you can still go up on the ranking and you can reach out to your users so Google take into like both things into consideration. Only the difference would be the paid result will come on the top and the organic result will come just below the paid result. And you can see the distinction also. The paid will be having a sticker marked on it that this is an ad and the organic will be completely native to the uh, uh, Google.com page. Okay. So, okay. Yeah. so the things that Google generally consider if you are if you are just uh, doing search engine optimization and you are just trying to be on there organically, so these are the things that you can take into consideration. For example, your content has to be very very relevant because Google tries to map the query the person has written on Google.com with the content that is present on your website. 
then there has to be a like logical organization of your website. The description has to be there. The pages and the images has to be very much pertinent with the user history. Uh, and the and the most important part is the load time has to be faster, and there has to be a mobile friendly page for your website. So that user, so that if user is searching you on desktop or mobile, he should still be able to see all the content, whatever whatever you are you are looking for. And not only this, like Google also provides some more tools so that you can make your free listing or basically organic result go up. The first of them is uh, test my site. Uh, this is a website which uh, which can help you. Uh, this is basically a tool that can help you to understand. Uh, uh, what is the current speed of your web pages? How can you make your web page more smoother so that user can uh, see you on different devices as well? The second one is Search Console. With the help of Search Console, uh, this will give like Google more information about the pages that is present on your website. So basically, you are helping Google to understand you more with the help of Search Console, so that your listing can go up without even cost, without even any cost. And the third one and most powerful one is the Google Analytics, which can uh, which is, I think, the most powerful tool available at the moment. Um, this can give you complete information about everybody, anybody who is landing on your page. For example, what is their age range, which locality they are coming from, which region they are coming from, which page they are coming from. So you can get like all the informations. You can know user has been user has uh, landed on the home page. They had been to the search page of your hotel. They had seen the property, but somehow they and they did not convert it on your page and they skipped back. So with the help of Google Analytics, you can understand. Uh, your user flow, and you can make your website like accordingly more friendly, so that the user can say. Absolutely, I think Pravin, these are wonderful tools that I'm looking at. I mean, uh, being related to technic technical teams, I can understand how useful these tools are. Uh, I would have one question for you here. That I mean, are these tools only for those people who are registering for Google Ads? Because I, I want, I have a website. I want to test my website. So, do I have to register myself for Google Ads to use this test my uh, no. site? So yeah, these tools are like completely free for everybody. Even you are not doing any kind of paid advertisement. Uh, you can you're still you just need like the Google account for it to use it. You can register mm -hmm. your website and you can even use the Google last one. So yeah. I can understand you can you can give me a testing tool for websites. What about Google Analytics? You said that it's the most powerful thing. So if I have a Google account, I can use this Google Analytics to see how my website is performing. And the traffic, the footfall yeah. by using this tool, and that's free. Yeah, it's completely free. You can understand about com okay. uh, complete user behavior. You can understand about your web pages, and it's all available for free. So you do not have to pay at all for using this tool. Yeah. Okay. Okay, that's that's interesting. Yeah. Okay. So let's let's see like how the ads work when somebody types anything on Google.com. As soon as somebody type any query, for example, hotel near Bangalore, I'm taking example of Bangalore in this case. This, this information is passed to all of our advertisers. And all of the advertiser who wants to bid for this particular term, for example, if somebody is having a hotel in Bangalore, they will definitely want to show up in this case. And um, all of our products are so democratic that uh, everybody is allowed to serve in the equal way, and there is no distinction between different advertisers. So as soon as this query is passed to all the advertisers, they start bidding real time. They start understanding who can, who can, who, who is most relevant, uh, which which page is most relevant to the user. And in just a fraction of a second, maybe a million of bids or auction takes place, and Google serves this result. You get your messages out to the user, like hotel in Bangalore, uh, save thirty percent, or I or think. This, I think Praveen. I think uh, everybody can relate this to uh, relate this process entirely. Uh, what I will be interested in real magic that that's going to happen. So if you can quickly fast forward to you know something that uh, would interest us more, if you may. Uh, so 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 yeah. So basically, uh, let let me show you like how we can also set it up uh, in terms of uh, a campaign so that so that basically everybody try to understand or maybe they can start a. Some campaign at least. Uh -huh, uh -huh. So yeah, this is another way by which we can reach out to uh, different users on the on the website. For example, uh, that uh, the first one which I showed was on the Google.com, but uh, Google also have like control on over more than ninety percent uh, GDN inventory. By GDN inventory, I mean the website that we generally go and search on on different pages. So uh -huh. in instead of just giving the text message, you can also try to. Uh, 
show a visually enriching image ad with the messages on about the destination or the hotels that you're looking for. So these two are the most uh, common ways that people generally try to advertise on. But uh, these are the yeah. types. So what I understand from this is these are the types of ads one can put forward, right? Put on to Google, yeah. a text yeah. as well as visually appealing. OK, yeah. yeah. And again, as, as I've already mentioned that there is no hidden cost that Google tries to hide from the user. You can have any kind of conversion. For example, if you want a user to call at your uh, at your at your location, you can do that. Uh, there is no startup fee. There is no cancellation fee. There is no contract. You have full control of your ad and uh, you can do the way you can serve the ad the way you want okay okay that's that's interesting and, that's clear uh, yeah and you can not only capture demand but you can also try to uh, drive online booking the only thing that we require from your end is uh, you need a, you need to have a website with your property listed um, and yeah and then google will do all the magic for you so let's 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 think so let's, google uh, is going to help me drive my visitors if anybody is searching to the website right that's what you're meaning to say so yeah, give me let, let me let me give you like a little bit more context. Like let's suppose if you are trying to create uh, any particular search campaign, so Google will need some kind of information. The first of that information is what is your goal? Because some hoteliers will want to drive like more traffic to their website. Uh, if there is a restaurant, they will try to like drive some kind of uh, uh, conversion on their website. If there is a hotel, they will try to like book more number of rooms. So you need to tell Google what do you want? You want sale? You want lead? You want to drive like more traffic, whatever is that. And I'm sure that hoteliers will be very, very familiar and they would know that what is their main objective that they want. They want help from the Google. Okay. The second thing is that where do you want actually to reach out to your user from? For example, if you're just reaching out to Delhi, you, you have full capability. If you just want to like take care of um, southern part of the country, you can select the cities or states where you want to go. Or if you want to come capture like whole India or whole world, it's, it's completely up to you. So this is the second piece of information that Google will need. So if I understand this correct, Pravin, this is my target region or target audience, which I want to uh, reach out to. Yes. Yeah, so this is one of, ty one, of one type of targeting where you can uh, we are targeting with the help of uh, Geo. But yeah, you also have an option to target with respect to age, gender, uh, parent status. So yeah, whatever you want, you can you can do it. So this is the second type of uh, second information that Google will need from you. The third thing is very, very obvious that we want the messages that you want your advertiser to serve on. Uh, for example, you want, I think there was a question before, if you want to uh, tell about the budget or tell about the rooms rate on, on particular day, then yes. you can also put those kind of uh, information that room on Monday is about 700 rupees or 1500 rupees, whatever information that you want to put, you can put it. So uh, this is the third and the, I think the most important one, the message that you want your user to know about. Uh, and uh, the last one, which is uh, which is very much important for Google to understand uh, whether or whether or not to show you a particular ad is the keywords. Uh, you would you would need to like target this this kind of keywords. For example, if you're ha you if you have a hotel in Goa, you will try to have some kind of uh, keywords like um, Goa hotels or activities in Goa or hotels in Goa. These kind of uh, keywords. You need to understand that what kind of keyword your user might be looking for, and then you need to. Uh, bid on them. If so, Praveen, I, yeah. Praveen, I, I totally understand this, but no, I am weak at this. If I talk about myself, uh, no, adding keywords, I, I may be able to run a hotel. I may have, let's say, five or ten words. What about other things? I mean, there are so many words that can relate to my business. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're, you're very much. Would would, uh, would I be able to? I mean, uh, so there are there is any help out there for this? Yeah, you're you're very very right, and I think uh, many advertisers look for this kind of help because. Uh, you cannot have control on all the keywords that pe people are looking for. You can definitely have some control that you can uh, bid on hotels in Goa or hotel in Bangalore. But what about the keyword that you are not even aware of? So there is definitely a tool called uh, Keyword Planner. If you are using Google AdWords, then you get this support. You just either you just put your website name or you just type a, a seed keyword and Google will throw out like thousands of keyword for you. You can just download it, it and start using it the way you want. And I can I can simply put in uh, feed this that information into this uh, key ad keyword thing. Yeah, so you just need either of the two. Just put one word like hotel, basically one term hotel in Goa, or you just put the your your website uh, link, and Google will understand okay. what you're looking for, and it will start throwing you all the. Okay, keywords. I think I think I think that helps. I mean, some reference is always good. Uh, no, that's yeah. good. Thanks. 
so yeah yeah definitely uh, post this uh, session we will send out uh, a particular link which will not only give information about what uh, uh, we are discussing today for gmb and google ads but it will uh, help our uh, our viewers to get like more information about advanced features as well so going forward um, as as we, as we are already discussing about keywords we can also consider like which particular stage our user is in for example uh, if there is a user who is uh, uh, who is uh, just started looking for a particular hotel so the, the keyword for them would be uh, hotels near goa or hotel in goa so by this term you can understand that user has not yet decided about a particular okay. hotel he has to book whereas if you if the if, if the person is typing um, hotels in baga beach which is a place in goa then that means that person has already done his research and he is very much close to like very much near to very much to stay, yeah yeah so based on the keyword type even google will help you in this based on these types you can decide how much you have to bid and uh, how much you want to spend to convert that particular user or if you want to uh, sell a particular uh, roof to that particular user how much you have to bid accordingly as as we are going down in the funnel we can ideally we should be increasing a little bit of bid so the chances of conversion goes up uh, there are there are like uh, other small strategy that you can basically advertiser, advertiser can use uh, just to make by uh, by using this you can try to make uh, your ad bigger just now we have seen one of the ad which consisted of three headlines uh, three lines basically one headline and two description line but what if you want if you have like more things to show or tell about your user for example uh, you you think you have a hotel which has like best um, sea view from from a particular destination in goa or if you have like uh, uh, a palace in in Jaipur where you want to showcase uh, some some features to to use it. So you can use any of these extension like site link. You can connect different pages of your link pages of your uh, website and show to the user. You can tell about different kind of uh, callouts that maybe government or the user or you think uh, is great for your hotel. You can so, show review. So you mean to you mean to say something like main attractions of my business? So I yes. can highlight those. Okay. Yeah, you can definitely highlight those. And uh, if there is a promotion going on, you can definitely highlight that part as well. So Google gives you like more feature just just in case if somebody wants to use it. Uh, there are two definite important things that, that I will tell you in the next slide. Uh, one is definitely uh, you can tell more about to your user about your business. But the most important one, which which I feel that uh, the real estate, that is the, the size of your ad goes up. So for example, if you are on mobile page, uh, and if you have like a lot of callouts, you can easily um, cover at least fifty percent or at least thirty percent of the overall mobile page, and uh, you can basically serve the ad to the to the user. I know what so, you're. I, I totally understand what you're trying to say. So if I'm sur surfing through this ads, uh, the more the information, uh, it's only my business that's visible to yeah. the the search who is doing yeah. the search. Yeah. Okay, so basically, okay, some advertiser okay. use this strategy as well. Like so guys, get, like, more, I think. I, so guys there's a, there's an expert tip here that you need to have more information right you can see the difference on the slide itself a simple ad compared to you no know, an ad with an extension so use most of the extensions that are available and provided by google i think you will get more real estate like praveen mentioned and you will have more focus of your guest on your ad thanks thanks praveen okay so this was about search ad and how how we can basically go to the uh, basically serve over ad to the search part uh, let me quickly go to the display network as well. By display network, I mean whenever we want to get like more information, we try to go on some website, try to read about it. It could be a uh, one of our favorite uh, blog or a news news uh, channel, anything. So you can see the difference. The first page is the Google search page, and second page could be any website where the ad would look something like uh, this. Mm -hmm. uh, in what case people should go on Google display network? Uh, if you are able to see that um, uh, you are able to drive like good number of conversion on search, and you have some additional budget where uh, you are willing to like attract more number of users to different channels, because definitely uh, users are not just sticking to one particular channel, but they are spread across the internet on different uh, uh, platforms. So if you want to reach out to them uh, on different channels, then Google uh, Display Solution will be best to you, and uh, our one of the product is called Smart Display Campaign will help you in reaching out to them without any effort at all. And the best part is that, uh, yes, <laughs> you have a question. I mean, sorry, sorry. Yeah, that, no, that's exactly my confusion that how can Google know? I mean, uh, what what or which ad to show at what time? I mean, that that's that's something I was, I'm interested in. 
So yeah, Google understands its user very well, and uh, um, based on like many signals, like what's the age or what's the what person is looking for, what is his, his history, uh, Google understands uh, which particular ad will be most pertinent for a particular user. And based on that, user tries to uh, based on that, Google tries to uh, serve particular ads so that the chances of conversion can go up. For example, if there is an advertiser who is um, showing an ad uh, in Bangalore, and there is a user who is looking for a hotel in Bangalore, so Google tries to match these both parties together so that the chances of conversion goes like really up. And yeah, so this the is chances another... increase. So to say, for a for a layman like me, the chances increases because of this uh, smart display campaign that you are uh, referring to. Yeah. So Google takes like more than a million signal just for each bidding, uh, where not only million signals is to take it into consideration, mil millions of advertisers takes into auction as well. And based on our artificial intelligence, we are able to deliver the best possible ad uh, to the user. And yeah, that's that's uh, I think key for our our advertising solution. So yeah, so this is uh, this is like quick view of about uh, Google Display Network. Uh, let me also tell you like what are the things that Smart Display Campaign, which is the campaign on the website, uh, takes care on your behalf. For example, uh, and uh, advertisers just have to tell how much they are willing to uh, for for a conversion. For example, uh, if if there is a user um, who is likely to get converted, and there is an advertiser who just want to spend maybe 20 rupees to get it converted. They will just let Google know um, that uh, uh, I'm looking for this particular age range this, and I'm willing to spend this much amount of money for conversion. Google okay. will take care of that particular bidding. The mm -hmm. advertiser doesn't have to worry at all. Google will take care of uh, targeting as well. It doesn't, doesn't have to worry at all in this case also. And they do not even have to worry about the creative. It will just seek some headlines, some images of their property and Google will take care of complete thing like it will be uh, all the all the tension of bidding all the tension of creating and creative all the tension of targeting will be completely taken care by google system okay. and all the details and information that the advertiser will look for will also be served to the user so you 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 were mentioning about uh, business advertiser and google so there are three parties involved so there's a there's one question here uh, yeah by Mr. Apurva Sharma. He says that can an individual hotel owner push Google hotel ads by themselves? Yes, yes. Uh, it's not like uh, uh, it will just take you maximum of two hours uh, uh -huh. to just set, set set up your overall campaign. Just log into mm -hmm. the account. If you already have an account, it will, uh, you just need to go and create a campaign. So these, uh, luckily, <laughs> at the right time, you ask this question there. So these are the only steps that you need to set up your campaign. You just need to tell Google about your goal. I think in most of the cases for hoteliers, it will be about uh, uh, booking a room. You just need to select uh, display campaign, uh, mm -hmm. put the geographic location and the user you want to target, and headlines, logo, and description. If you give Google this much, your campaign is uh, ready to start. Based on our artificial intelligence system, we'll be trying to predict which user will convert on your pages, and it will start delivering your messages. So yeah, the answer is yes. Anybody can start campaign in less than two hours. It will not take much, much time at all. Wonderful. Yeah, thanks. Uh, thanks. Just one piece of uh, caution I would want to, uh, basically, uh, caution I want, want to let people to have is, uh, when you put logo or description or images or headline, Google will try to do different kind of combinations out of these uh, uh, these assets that you're giving to Google, and uh, uh, it can serve in any particular way. So you have to just understand that each of the headline and each of the images can go with each other, and uh, it should be suitable for your user every time. If you are able to do it, uh, you are uh, you are you're, you're, you can free feel free to like set yourself at least uh, increase your uh, business and increase your sales every time. Okay, so what all information that I feed to Google while listing, this is uh, the combination that Google uses to you know, show the relevant ads when yeah. anybody searching. Okay. Yeah, so basically Google, uh, our artificial intelligence, what they will do is uh, with all the logos and description and images that user is putting in, it will try to create a very beautiful creative and it will make it very similar to the web page that, that the user is on so that it will become very useful for the user to understand all the messages and uh, very pertinent for them to click on it and go to the uh, advertiser's website. So Google will take care of all this, but only from our end, we have to make sure that all combinations should work well. Okay, okay. That sounds uh, interesting. So this is one of the example. I don't think uh, we need to go like very deep into this, but if we see the numbers, 
these are uh, this is from the national aircraft uh, company based out based in africa uh, with the help of just this way solution they were able to increase their conversion by 20k uh, more than 2000 conversion with the help of display solution uh, they were able to increase their uh, ctr by 34 percent and decrease yeah, conversion cost by 34 percent and overall increase in their ctr by 58 percent so uh, we can see there are like many players many companies who around the world they're using the solution and they are able to get uh, a great conversion with the with the google solution at all and uh, for the purpose of uh, this session uh, we have just take ourselves to gmb and uh, some of the organic listing and uh, google search ad and displayers but as you advance more in the online space um google has like plethora of solutions for you any kind of solution that you wish for or think for there will be some or other solution existing either through existing product or through different kind of api so uh, if you are willing to like uh, like go any further you can reach out to i think uh, um, uh, account managers and they will like help you in terms of more from, from, the, from the perspective of this session, you just need to like remember two things. You have to be discoverable. Uh, you just need to have like any kind of um, online platform. You need to Present. be present there whenever user is looking for. And you can just as from the basic version, if you want, just want to start up and want to see uh, incremental conversion for your business, you can start searching or you can start uh, advertising on Google search and advertising on Google Display Network. They will definitely give you like uh, some incremental a conversion. So yeah, I think this was uh, it for our session. Okay, I think I think I think you covered covered uh, quite a bit. And uh, what I understand is my my now understanding is very clear about Google Ads. Uh, I have one question related to this. Now that the session has ended, I think yeah. everybody must have got their uh, bit of clarity. But just to reiterate, uh, I have one question, which is how is Google Hotel Ads different from Google Ads? So Google Hotel Ads only comes on few of the product. Uh, Google Ad is like a umbrella term where each of these products sit in. For example, there is something called search ad, which I've just shown. There's something called Google Display Network where our ads go on display. Then Google Hotel Ad is also one of the product that comes under Google Ads. Okay. Um, and Google Ads is somewhat also related to what um, Pramod was listing before, that with the help of Google Hotel Ads, you can show only your hotel. You can show uh, different uh, rates you, you can you can you can basically uh, provide user to book the hotel directly through google google platform so yeah okay. it's like a subset of google ads mm -hmm. can i this can, can i can i add more to it uh, yeah sure in fact Pra praveen covered it all uh, but uh, the fundamental difference between google ads and uh, as praveen was mentioned google ads is more search ads display ads and video ads also uh, google hotel ads is a very specific product to hoteliers so this type of uh, product is only for hotels. Other businesses cannot participate in a hotel ads uh, product or a hotel ads auction, so to say. And once you have a GMB listing that we spoke about, mm -hmm. that GMB listing is your uh, storefront for a Google hotel ad. So you don't need anything else apart from that uh, prerequisite of having a Google uh, GMB listing. OK, 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 thanks. I think I think this has uh, made much more uh... Uh, clear about this. Uh, also, a question for me as well from Michelle uh, Michelle Young. Uh, she wants to know what's the difference between Google Ads and Google Booker Room. Uh, now, so I have hey. heard a lot about this, right? We also at Easy we have communicated a lot, a lot about this Google Booker Room. So, if you may want to share something about this. Um, so, yeah, Michelle, I think uh, you're talking about different bidding strategy. That is. Uh, uh, that, that 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 is like you want to pay certain amount of money to uh, for a particular converter. Google Ads again, as I as I have already mentioned, it's like an umbrella term where uh, all of our product sits in. Uh, book a room must be a CPA value that is cost per acquisition value that you want Google to pay for conversion. So it's it's just a bidding strategy, and bidding you just strategy. want to yeah you just want to pay that much for a conversion. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, Snail, I think I, I see different questions and confusions around how are we charged on Google Ads? So when does an advertiser pay and uh, is it after the booking or is it before the booking? Uh, we, do you want to cover that? 
Uh, yeah, I can I can quickly answer. So, uh, as I mentioned before, in the in, in the in the part like, what is your objective for a campaign? For example, if you want to drive click to your website, then Google will charge you on the basis of click. You may you may tell that uh, you may want to spend about ten rupees for a particular click on your website. Then, as soon as a click will happen, you will get a transact. You will get a charge done. But if you are telling Google that you want to spend fifty rupees for a conversion, not for a charge. Then Google will only charge if there is a conversion happening on a website, and Google will not charge at all for clicks and impression of your ad till the time there is no conversion. Uh, there will be no charge. So what you actually want from the Google Ads, you have you just have to tell it, and it you will be charged accordingly. Okay, thank you. Feel the no, one, one guys, yeah, uh, I think that that was that was insightful, uh, Praveen. Uh, many of uh, my questions were also answered because of this uh, session today. Uh, I'm going through the questions uh, right now, and uh, I think we have covered uh, a lot of them. But there are still uh, there are still a lot of questions to be answered. What I'll do is I'll have my team cover it later on. I am definitely sure we are not going to be able to cover all of them. It's almost uh, two hours now that we have started our session. So. Mm -hmm. Uh, no, it's quite a time, and I would not like to take more time of yours as well as my uh, no attendees. Uh, thank you very much once again, Praveen and Pramod, for being here with us today, and no giving us so much insights into uh, this Google My Business listing and Google Google Ads. Right? Uh, if if it were not for you, no, there were so many puzzles in my mind as well. Right? But those are clear now. I'm sure our attendees would also have. A no, like this uh, clarification from you. Uh, I, for myself, would be coming back to you, right, for more questions if I have. And yeah, we would be interacting with our customers as well at Easy. If they have any questions, we would come back to you uh, with mm -hmm. their questions. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, thank yeah. you very much. No, yeah, thank you, guys. Very relevant questions that we should answer, right? I, I can see questions from Harish, Sampath, everybody. It's it's really relevant to the business, and uh, it would be our endeavor to answer all these via email or via any other medium through your email. Uh, Definitely, yeah. Uh, so that's what, guys. That's what we are going to do. We are going to, uh, you know, we have the copies of your questions. So we are going to attempt everything uh, that you have asked, right? Uh, it would definitely not be possible to do it online right now, but uh, rest assured, we are going to reach out to you via email. Thank you very uh, much least, for asking these questions. At least for Sampath, I can just give some insight. Uh, Sampath, post this session, um, Snail's team would send a particular link, which will have like a little bit more information than the content that we have covered. So there will be two more content that will be about the hotel ads, uh, beginner level and hotel ads, uh, advanced level. So you can use those to like just start your campaign for Google hotel ads. Yeah, uh, Parikal Gupta, uh, this session is going to definitely be mailed out to you guys. Whoever is registered, you'll get a recorded uh, copy of this webinar. So you can then refer it to it later on at your uh, convenient time. So uh, thank you very much, guys. I would not take much time of yours. Uh, rest assured, you, you're going to get the recorded copy of this uh, session as well as the questions that you have asked. Right? We'll try to reach out to everybody via email. And thanks once again, uh, Praveen, as well as Promote, for taking out your valuable time right? and answering so many questions of uh, our attendees. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank thanks, Nail. Thank you, guys. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye-bye.